Hi there, and welcome. Kanban planning is the application of Kanban practices and principles for deciding what to work on next. The traditional approach to project planning involves breaking the project into tasks, then assigning start and end dates to tasks. Likewise, Kanban planning breaks down projects into tasks and estimates how long a team will need to complete all tasks. However, Kanban planning focuses on the probabilistic estimates of time rather than exact dates for creating a work plan. In other words, instead of saying, the deadline for this project is June 1st, Kanban planning would determine, there's an 85% chance that the team will need between 15 and 20 days to complete the project. The Kanban planning approach commits to delivery dates and outcomes, but it does so based on data-driven forecasting. Kanban planning aims for an accurate estimate of a range of time rather than an exact end date. This is done using historical average cycle time and lead time data. Teams use past data to calculate the predicted overall time for projects and tasks. The reliability of Kanban planning estimates depend on reliable data and the stability of the workflow. Teams practicing Kanban collect data on their process, tracking metrics such as WIP, lead time, cycle time, and throughput. When workflow is relatively stable, teams can expect similar work items to take a similar amount of time. In such cases, teams can use average cycle times and throughput numbers to calculate and predict the time it will take to complete upcoming projects with a high degree of probability. The calculations themselves are not difficult and can be done manually for simpler projects. However, it can quickly become complicated when juggling multiple projects and testing various scenarios. In these cases, we recommend using software to run Monte Carlo simulations to do the calculations and predictions. Once the project has been broken down into tasks with estimated times, teams can use the Kanban board to plan and prioritize future activities and tasks. The left side of the Kanban board represents the future or work not yet started. Teams do Kanban planning on the board by positioning items when we think they are most likely to be delivered. The Kanban cards can be reordered within the far left column as their priorities, expected delivery date, or expedite status changes. The right side of a Kanban board represents the work committed, in progress, or finished. Teams use the right side to manage workflow in the present. The Kanban board visualizes the status of all work items in progress, as well as their priority. Kanban boards are designed to give the team members the information they need to execute the plan. As capacity becomes available, they pull the next most important task from ready to doing and begin working on it. When combining Kanban with Scrum, teams may wish to practice a method known as flow-based sprint planning. That wraps up our review of Agile Kanban planning. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.